Hi, and welcome to Music Messages Tarot. If you are returning, welcome back. This reading is going to be for the Twin Flame Collective, but specifically for my Divine Feminines, anyone who resonates with the Divine Feminine energy. Uh, we're going to be picking up on what's going on with you, other energies that may be attached to you at this time, and just generally what might be going on. It's going to be kind of like an energy check for the Divine Feminine today. I do need to remind you that uh, this may or may not resonate with all of you personally, so please be sure to take whatever does resonate, use your discernment, and to leave the rest, okay? We're using our Goddesses deck today. This is to help me get a check on you, Divine Feminine, what's going on with you personally before we move into your situation. Two of Cups beautiful beautiful energies so i feel like a lot of you may be in this very receptive more positive optimistic energy right now where you are open and ready to ready to receive what the universe has for you okay i feel a lot of momentum has been building over the past several months for many people who resonate as a divine feminine okay and you have a two of cups relationship coming towards you this this might be your divine masculine. For some of you, this may be a higher level soulmate that's attached to your energy, but it is just beautiful energy right off the bat. Um, I'm getting that this is partially like your energetic state right now, divine feminine. So you're in, like I said, you're in this receptive type energy. I'm picking up on a divine feminine who may have been in a situation that kept you waiting or feeling like you were waiting for a really long time and you've either distanced yourself from that situation or you're, you've removed yourself from that situation. And that's what has you, that's what has all this beautiful, romantic, new, renewed energy flowing into you right now. It's like you can sense that something's on the horizon. So even if you haven't come into contact with whoever this Two of Cups is going to be for you, um, a lot of you can sense this on the horizon and you might catch yourself having like romantic, dreamy kind of thoughts and feelings right now and not knowing where they're coming from. All right. So this might be because you can energetically sense that there's a union coming. It also might be because there's someone who in the 3D in the physical world has actively decided that they want to make contact with you and they're possibly sending energy towards you right now. Okay, so beautiful energy right off the bat, collective. Let's see what else is going on with my Divine Feminines. I just heard Angie, Angelina, something along those lines. Angelica. Ten of Cups in Reverse. So with the Ten of Cups in Reverse here, I do get that they're... There's a situation that you're moving away from that had Ten of Cups potential, but kept you kind of stagnant because whoever you were dealing with in this situation wasn't matching your energy, wasn't matching your frequency. I don't get that whoever you were dealing with was your twin or even a soul connection. I'm getting that for someone you're moving out of a karmic situation. Um, but, you know, take that as it resonates. It might have been a soul connection for some of you. Yeah. I picked up an energy of impatience on the Divine Feminine's end this morning. And not in like a rash, impatient, impulsive type way. In a way where you've been waiting for something to manifest for a while now. You may have been putting a lot of time and effort into this. And you're realizing like it's time to walk away from something. And I'm getting that it's this Ten of Cups in reverse energy here, okay? But I'm not getting this Two of Cups, whoever this is coming in, um, whoever's attached to your energy, and we're definitely going to channel further into that in a bit, is not the same energy as whatever this situation is that you're walking away from. It was someone who kind of had this, like, strung along is what I just heard. Someone who was stringing you along in some way or making you feel like, you're happily ever after with this person was right around the corner and then it just would never happen because this person wasn't really ready to change or ready to take things to the next level. And then we have the four of swords in reverse. So yeah, for some of you, you're moving away from a 10 of cups in reverse type situation and you're either going through a period of healing or you're going to be coming out of a period of healing. 
it's been a little bit of a trying time for you, Divine Feminine. I am going to pull more cards today. So we're going to keep this Two of Cups here because this is the beautiful energy kind of flowing in for you. That's what we have to, that's what's connected to you right now. And that's the first energy that came up today. So that is something new and exciting and fresh that's flowing in. Um, but I do want to get a little bit more information about like where you are personally, whoever I'm picking up on. Okay, and I should also put a disclaimer here that some of the cards I'm going to be using, I might not be able to display them because of the artwork. Some of the artwork might show like a little bit of some images that YouTube deems inappropriate. Okay, we have the world. Yeah, you're closing out a cycle, whoever this is that I'm picking up on today. You're closing out this cycle. It was painful. It's, uh, but I kind of feel like you're over it though. Like you, you're in this situation, you're in this energy where it's like, this is not working for me. I deserve more. And you've healed yourself. You're ready to close this out and move into something that feels like a truer two of cups. Something that's more aligned with who you really are, Divine Feminine. Six of cups in reverse. The situation you were dealing with before could have had to do with someone from your past. I get that for a lot of you, this felt like a soul connection. And again, it may have been a soulmate for some of you. But for a lot of you, it was kind of like either a false twin situation or someone that you felt like you had a, a soul tie to who turned out to be more of like a karmic partner. Maybe they were wearing a mask in certain ways is what I just heard. And the situation just became very stagnant and painful to stay in. So some of you decided to leave something very recently that doesn't mean for some of you that this was a soulmate that doesn't mean that you know there's never the potential for this person to heal and come back into your life in the future it's just that you're not going to wait around for that is the energy that i'm picking up here okay so you know i always like to keep it hopeful because you never know for whoever you stepped away from you stepping away from that person could be the like the catalyst or the impetus that that person needs to realize that they have a lot of healing to do. So sometimes things can come back together in very unexpected ways. So don't take this as like a negative interpretation. But if you are the person who's decided to walk away from something, I mean, you're already well aware that that person has healing to do and that they're not serving your best interest by being in your life right now, Divine Feminine. I'm excited about this Two of Cups energy coming in for you, though. That's really what <laughs> I'm focused on here. And we're going to get some more information about that in a bit. Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is how you were feeling at the end of this cycle that just ended, okay? So you felt like we have the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups coming out in reverse here. So that is how you were feeling. Um, this, this could have been a dream come true, it felt like, with the person you were connecting with, but it just never kind of came to fruition. It never, you felt like you were always waiting, waiting, waiting is the energy that I'm getting. Like maybe this person is someone who told you that you were gonna take the next steps in your relationship or told you that they were gonna get their shit together, you know? I try not to curse too much on the videos anymore, but yeah, and then they just never kind of did, so that's what I'm picking up here. Yeah, it was a king of pentacles in reverse that you were dealing with. It could be somebody who's very kind of selfish, stingy, stingy with his affections. Um, someone that you felt like you were pouring into but never really getting anything in back emotionally. You were never really getting uh, what you gave to this person in return. All right, so someone who always kept you dangling is what I'm hearing. Um, and someone, I'm just getting a very like stingy vibe off of this, whoever this is. So, and someone who's not really immediately ready to change their patterning right now. They feel like this is the way they should be behaving in a relationship and that's not really serving you. Okay. All right. So that's, that's the current state of energetic affairs here for whoever I'm picking up on today, Divine Feminines. And you'll know if this resonates with you or not. Um, but now I want to channel further into, I want to get some more information about this Two of Cups. This is a, a someone new, someone different from this King of Pentacles is in your energy right now. So let's get some info on that person. And 
any additional energies that may be attached to you right now, Divine Feminine. Let's get some information. Joy. Wow. So you have a much happier, more fulfilling connection coming towards you right now. Hibiscus flowers and hummingbirds might connect with somebody here personally. Um, the number 14 might also be significant to you. But this two of cups is going to bring so much happiness and joy into your life. It's going to be what this situation felt like it could have been. Okay, you had a lot of high hopes and you saw the potential with whoever you were connected with here that you walked away from. This, honestly, walking away from this person, it's not to say that this person can't heal and, like I said, reconnect with you at a later time. But I get that for a lot of you that this will resonate for. Walking away from this person made is making room for this true Two of Cups connection to come in. It's going to be a very, very joyful union. I don't think I've ever pulled this card from this deck before. So that lets me know it's a really important message for somebody today. It's a beautiful card, a beautiful energy. That's you, Divine Feminine. You're coming back into your power as you move away from whatever this, whoever this King of Pentacles in reverse was. Okay, but also it's representative of what this Two of Cups is going to feel like when you come into union with this person. Radiance is the card that we just got. Okay, I'm going to show you. <laughs> That's the card that we just received, but I cannot show it on camera. So Radiance is, again, it's your glow up. It's your energetic glow up here, Divine Feminine. It's you coming into your own, and it's you're going to be like radiating this high vibrational love frequency. You're doing that now as you're learning, as you're practicing your self-love, as you're moving away from things that are not, that are pulling you down, okay? But when you come into this Two of Cups, it's almost like you're going to have a physical glow to you, is what I just heard. I heard the name Erin for someone as well, or Eric, possibly. Um, take that as it resonates. I'm also just for some reason seeing the month of February on a calendar. I'm, see I'm seeing February 7th for some reason. But again, it's random bits of information that come through, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. Okay, we have community here, okay? And I'm just going to show you that's what the card says on the bottom, but I cannot display this card. Uh, butterflies might be really significant for someone. With the hummingbird and the butterfly imagery here, I'm picking up on someone who may like to fly or someone, maybe like a pilot or something like that. Someone in your energy may fly planes is what I'm picking up here or travel a lot via plane, you know, on airplanes. So someone who has to travel a lot for work, something like that, divine feminine. Um, whoever this two of cups relationship is gonna be, it's someone who's bringing out the absolute best in you um, but also, it may be somebody that you come into contact with through some kind of community activity. I'm getting like a shared interest or a hobby, um, some kind of passion of yours. Tap into whatever that feeling is and allow it to guide you because it's actually going to bring you to this person. It's going to bring you to into communication with one another. So through some kind of community activity, I'm seeing like a chorus or some kind of band, something like that. So I'm not sure if in your community that was something that you you had interest in joining. It does not have to be music related. It can be anything, anything artistic or along those lines. Um, tapping into that and actually taking the initiative to join an activity like that in your community may be how you come across this person. Because I get that this is going to be someone who vibrates at a very similar frequency as you do and for a lot of you it is your twin so you guys are going to have a lot of the same shared interests hobbies you're really going to bring out the best in one another hearing the name david i've been hearing that name on the past few um readings jacob for someone as well kylie carly Okay. And I'm seeing June now, the month of June. So that might be another birth date or an important date for someone. 
uh, I believe I can show this card, Cannabis Detachment. This is, yeah, this is your energy as you're coming out of the situation that no longer serves you. Um, let's put this up here. Okay. With Saturn depicted on this card as well, it lets me know that you had to learn a really difficult lesson with whatever situation you're coming out of. Um, it wasn't an easy situation. You had a lot of hard lessons to learn. It probably was a karmic relationship that kind of mimicked something that felt like a deeper soul connection. I'm hearing the name Leslie, but um, as you learned these lessons, you outgrew whatever this situation was or whoever this person was. But this is gonna be like your abundant season here, Divine Feminine. Um, I've felt the pressure kind of building the past couple of months. Something major is about to happen for a lot of you. And it's not gonna be trivial. It's gonna be something that uh, you're gonna be meeting your person very soon, a lot of you. So, you know, and if this doesn't happen in the physical world immediately, you are definitely energetically connecting to whoever this person is. You're definitely having more of an energy exchange with whoever this person is in 5D. Okay, it's just such a beautiful energy, especially after the time period that you're coming out of right now, Divine Feminine. I feel like it's been a very difficult period. Like I said, someone who's been keeping you waiting, possibly even playing games, like feeling very immature and childish is the energy I'm picking up on that you're moving away from. That person has a lot of healing to do. Like I said before, it's not impossible for them to heal themselves and come back in at a later time. But you are in this energy of you're not waiting around for that anymore, okay? And for some of you, this Two of Cups might be the same person coming back. But for, for many of you, this is going to be a brand new person. Um, might be a water sign. I'm just picking up on that today. So Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but certainly does not have to be. Let's get some more information about what, what is this? Who is this energy attached to Divine Feminine? Who is this energy attached to Divine Feminine? Retreat. I get that this person has also been in a time period where they have, they've needed to isolate and they've needed to heal themselves just like you have. The number 27 might be significant and with all this red imagery here, someone might really love the color red, um, but I'm also picking up, this may also be a fire sign. So it could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that's coming toward you, or you may be one of those signs. But during this time time period of retreat and isolation that you and whoever this is in your energy has been going through, you've reconnected with your passions, you've reconnected with your creative side, um, you've really taken the time to remember the things that light you up, Divine Feminine, and whoever this counterpart is has done the exact same thing. They've been kind of mirroring your process and your energy, and they're ready to step back into step back into the world, so to speak. So they've been kind of removing themselves from a lot of social situations just as a time period to heal, just like you've been. And they're ready to start engaging with other people again. Through some kind of shared interest, that's how the two of you are going to connect for a lot of you. I heard the name Riley, Ryan, that might be significant to someone. Yeah, the tower. You had to, you and this person had to go through a tower moment, but I'm getting that this person is actively going through the tower in their life right now. Um, this tower, I think you're a little bit further along in your development than this person that's coming towards you. So all of what you just healed from is pretty much what they're going through right now. Okay, but that's going to allow them to come, come towards you in a, a more healed state in a way that is more energetically aligned to you, Divine Feminine. Okay, I cannot show this card, but we have shape-shifting, shape-shifting card here, okay? Just so you can see. Um, but I get that you and this person are both very empathetic people. You may both be em empathic, actually, like able to read other people's energy very easily able to ad like very adaptable creative people that's what I'm picking up on from your person it's almost like they're able to channel energy for whatever it is that they do for 
for a hobby or possibly even for their job. Um, I'm seeing somebody performing, so I'm not sure if maybe this person does like community theater or something like that. That might be where you meet this person. The community card came out before and I saw people singing or engaging in some kind of performance. So this person might do community theater and need to kind of channel different energies as they take on different characters um, in their acting. But it can also just be somebody who's naturally very good at doing that. So like picking up on energies, picking up on people's emotions, being very empathetic towards other people. Um, for some of you, I still am seeing somebody in a plane. So I'm not sure if this is someone who is a pilot or someone who travels very often on airplanes, but that is definitely going to connect to someone listening today because I keep seeing it. What else can you tell me about this Two of Cups coming towards my Divine Feminines? Okay, we have purity. And again, I can't show the card. I love these cards, but there's a lot of like naked people on them. Sorry about that. All right, the number one might relate to someone. The color yellow might connect to someone or yellow flowers might be really significant. Um, but purity is represented by this card. So this is a very good hearted, gentle person that's coming towards you. Someone with a pure heart, I'm getting that it's someone who has been taken advantage of by the romantic partners that, uh, and I am going to use the word he, okay, because it's it's a masculine energy that I'm picking up on, so I do just use that pronoun. Um, a lot of the partners that he's had in his life have taken advantage of him in some way because he is so very good natured. So a lot of people have kind of, you know, they, they had a tendency to mistake his kindness for weakness. And that's what's led him to this tower moment where he realizes he's not really choosing the right type of people to be in partnerships with. He's come to that realization. Um, you're not going to be like anybody he's ever been with before. And that's exactly what's going to draw him to you just like a magnet. I'm seeing a honeybee for someone. So I'm not sure if honeybees connect, but that's what I'm seeing right now. Honeybees or honey might be significant to someone. Okay, what else can you tell me about this person? Yeah, we got the world card earlier for you, Divine Feminine, and this is pretty much my world card for this deck. Completion. Someone listening might be a Capricorn, or you may love to work with crystals, someone that's listening as well. But yeah, this masculine energy is coming to a close for some kind of cycle in his life as well okay he's coming towards you like I said it's I, I really get the sense that this person's gonna come towards you or you're gonna come into contact with this person at some kind of community event and for a lot of you I get it's like a community um, group that works on some kind of artistic project together I do see a community theater but it doesn't have to be that for everyone all right, Divine Feminine. Also, I was just channeling the song Angel by Sarah McLachlan, which is about someone who's struggling with addiction. So I feel like maybe this masculine energy that's attached to you is overcoming some kind of addiction in his life, whether that be drugs, alcohol, a lifestyle that's toxic, something like that, a behavioral pattern that's toxic to him. But he's coming out of that now. I do feel like he's still struggling with it just a little bit with that tower card that's there. Um, if you've never heard that song before, um, you might want to go listen to it. It's it's pretty, it's pretty heartfelt and emotional, and might be triggering to someone if you have dealt with addiction on your own. So I'm not gonna sing it, but you can look into that song on your own if you feel like that is resonating with you or who this whoever this person is that's in your energy. I'm just gonna pull one final card for today's reading, but. You have nothing but beautiful things coming towards you right now, okay? And I I've, I've, have felt this energy, particularly over the past several months. So you may have heard me say that several times on my Twin Flame videos, but it's because I've been picking up on such an intense, beautiful, life-altering energy coming toward you for a lot of you, okay? Yeah, surrender. This just speaks to the divine timing of it all, divine feminine. Okay, number 43 might be significant to you. Owls might connect to someone here as well. 
but this to me just speaks to divine timing. So continue to focus on whatever your passions and creative projects are right now. I really, really feel that that is how this person is going to be coming into your life. So it's not something you should go looking for. Divine timing is at play here. It's going to unfold in its own time naturally, but I'm being told to let you know, I'm being guided to let you know that it's actually through your creative passions that this is going to come, come into your life, okay? But a really beautiful energy today, Divine Feminine. I couldn't have asked for a better energy to kind of guide our reading today, all right? I hope this resonated. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, it would really, really help the channel grow. Um, other than that, though, I'm wishing you all the peace and harmony, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.